Hello, my name is Emmer Bike Repair, and today I'm going to be taking a look at five mountain bikes that in my opinion are worth it in April 2022. The first bike I'm going to take a look at is the 2022 Polygon Cascade 4, and this bike is $480 at Bikes Online, and you can also get this in size frames, and it also comes with a small array of tools that come with the bike. And here's a couple pictures of the bike. I'm scrolling down to the specs, it also has a lifetime warranty on the frame. It has a SR Suntour XCE with 100 millimeters of travel, 680 millimeter steel handlebars, which is a little bit shorter than what comes on some of the other bikes, but this is definitely a lot better than some that comes on some of the Walmart bikes. It has a 45 millimeter stem, an entity saddle and seat post, and the seat post is 27.2 millimeters, a pro wheel cranks, and a cartridge bottom bracket, a KMC chain, a Shimano Altus cassette, not a freewheel. This is it. Just does have a free hub. It has a Altus front derailleur in a RDTX 800 8 speed in the back, a Shimano Altus shifter for both of them, and uh, hydraulic disc brakes, which I've actually never heard of this brand, but I'm thinking of some sort of OEM that they use. 27 by 2.1 tires, double wall rims with 32 hole and QR quick release, and the bike in all weighs 33 pounds. So I feel like if you were new to mountain biking, I feel like this is probably the bike I would go with, just because it comes with a, a bunch of tools and everything, and it's a little bit easier to claim the warranty than some, some like Walmart. So I'm going to be going to the next bike. And the second bike I'm going to take a look at is the Ozone 500G or KT29. You can get this bike at Academy Sports in-store or online for $400, and it is currently out of stock, but it was just in stock a couple of weeks ago, so it should be in stock relatively soon. And kind of going over some of the specs, it has Shimano Easy Fire shifters, 29 CST tires, which are more of a hybrid than knobby, kind of more mountain bike tires. It has a aluminum frame, Shimano with Sierra derailleur, a SR Suntour XCT30, which has around 100 millimeters of travel and may have 80, and has double wall rims. And kind of going, it has pro wheel cranks and looks to have a tourney derailleur up front. Yeah, you can see there's the Shimano Sierra, and it also does have a free hub, at least from what I can see, and also does have front and rear quick release. So, And the only thing I would actually really replace on this bike, like immediately, is probably the stem, because it looks to be a 90 to 100 millimeter stem, and that would probably make it a little bit uncomfortable to ride. But I feel like for 400 bucks, this is definitely a pretty good bike, and is this seems like more of an XC bike than a trail bike, so I wouldn't be riding too many hard trails on this. I'm going to be going to the next bike. And the third bike I'm going to be taking a look at is a Schwinn XM DP. And this bike is $500 at Walmart, in store and online. And it comes in three colors red, blue, and black. And the black version is $450. And uh, it does not come with a dropper seat post. And this, the XM DP has a 19 inch frame. Uh, here's a couple pictures of the bike. And this has a 100 millimeter travel front fork. It is a Schwinn brand and has dual preload adjustment. It has a 125 millimeter X dropper seat post, and the diameter is 30.9. It has a full 8 speed axe drivetrain, and it does have a free hub and not a freewheel. It has double wall rims with 29 by 2.6 tires, so they are more of a plus size tire. And I feel like for 500 bucks, it's a pretty good bike if you have actually plan on doing some small upgrades. And the upgrades I would actually recommend is probably chiseling out the fork and possibly putting a new derailleur on. But besides that, I feel like that's a really nice bike. And again, you get this at Walmart for $500, which we go into the fourth bike. And the fourth bike I'm going to take a look at is the Marin Bellinus Ridge 2, and you get this on City Grounds for $450. And some of the models are out of stock, like the large and the XL is actually out of stock, but you can actually get this with different wheel sizes and frame sizes. It comes in two different colors, gray and black. Kind of going over some of the specs, it has a SR Suntour XCM DS, 100 meters of travel with a preload adjustment. It has a Shimano crank, Shimano shifters, and an 8-speed Altus rear derailleur. It has Marin double wall rims with a free hub, not a, not a freewheel. It has a Marion 45mm stem, 780mm with 12m rise bars. It has a Sunrise 8-speed cassette with 11 to 32 tooth. 
It has power branded brakes, which are Power CEX7. The tires are uh, 29 or 27.5 by 2.2. The bottom bracket is a sealed cartridge bearing, and the pedals are a nylon platform. And I feel like for sometimes I just see this bike for as low as like 400 to 380. So if you're actually able to get this for around 400, I feel like this is actually a pretty good deal. And I actually really like the Marin frame. And I'm going to be going on to the fifth bike. And the last bike I'm going to be taking a look at is the Mongoose Black Comb. Now this bike has 26 inch wheels and is $350 at Walmart. And I personally don't love this frame design, but if you like full switching bikes with slightly different frame designs, you'd probably like this bike. And it has a element fork, which looks to have about 100 millimeters of travel with a dual preload adjustment. It does have a three by crank set, so I, uh, it's one thing I don't like about the bike. But kind of going over some of the specs, yeah, it has 26 inch wheels. It has an L beam alloy frame. There's 24 speed uh, trigger shifters, front and rear mechanical disc brakes. It has uh, double wall rims and the three piece crank. So, here's a couple of pictures of the bike. Let's see, here's the suspension system. And this fork actually does look pretty okay for an Element brand, which is, I believe, a Mongoose OEM brand. And the bars look about 700 millimeter with the uh, Shimano built-in uh, levers and shifters. So, so if, if you were to buy this bike, the things I'd recommend upgrading first is probably the rear suspension. It looks about the same level as the Mongoose XR Pro, but I would recommend putting a uh, air rear suspension in that, and then also would recommend possibly putting in some new bars and some new shifters and uh, brake levers. But besides that, I feel like this is a pretty pretty good bike for three hundred fifty dollars, and you can I not I don't believe you can get this in store in Walmart stores, but you can get this online. And uh, my name is Emma Have a good day.